Hi, hello everyone. My name is Shin Kazato, and today uh, this is actually my first tutorial video where I'll discuss um, how do you make uh, custom character portraits on Kohaku's Melody Blood Life Bars. So this is a um, GIMP tutorial. Um, I don't have Photoshop, so this. Probably there will be like some um, concepts that could be applied to Photoshop. I haven't tried Photoshop yet, but um, uh, yeah, so let's start. First off, you need to pull up your GIMP and you need to open up a template, which I am going to put on the description. So you need to open the template real quick, find it. So convert this. I just convert, mm. convert this template. Um, so you'll be seeing something that looks like this. Okay. So what you need next is any transparent picture. So you can like search the internet of a transparent picture of any character that you want a custom portrait. So for me, I'm gonna make a custom portrait for Evil Ryu. So I'm gonna there, and I have this. So uh, next up, um, we're going to resize this um, picture right here. So I have like um, like a basis for how my um, custom portrait looks like. So I have like this picture of Kasumi right here. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to scale this picture of Evil Ryu down. So I finished now how I'm going to make my portrait look. So from there you can like customize it. You can like not have a basis like I did here and you can like put in like any picture really. Just make sure it says like a um, transparent background. So what I'm going to do now is just going to fix this um, Evil Ryu portrait that I have. So the transparent picture should be like behind the template. So after that, uh, you're going to merge the visible layers. Um, so what you're going to do next is you're going to image, your image tab, go to mode, and from RGB you go to index. And then you go for generate optimum palette and the maximum number of colors should be um, 255 so after that what you're going to do is you're going to press your color picker tool and then you're gonna press this pink color here over here and then you go to your select by color tool and then you press the um, transparent background and after that you're going to your bucket fill tool and just fill up uh, the transparent background with the color that you picked. There. Make sure that you've covered all the, the um, transparent background. I think I'm fine now. Okay. Yes. And then you're going to pick none. Go to select and just press none. So what you're going to do next is that you're going to the color map here. If you don't have color map on this right side here, you can go to windows and the dockable dialogs and go find color map. That's right. So what you're going to do next is that you're going to press this plus button here, which is add current foreground color. And then what this does is it du duplicates the color that you used to uh, replace your transparent background color. And what this does, and the reason why we're doing this, is that we're going to make this purple um, this pink color something that will make the portrait only like the picture of your character and you know it's on transparent background. 
I hope you guys understand that kind of thing. So, the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to go to the original color, like, like the original, uh, to like the original color that we put here, which is your pink color, and then you change it to any color that you like. I personally can uh, personally go green or yellow, but I just um, I started off with green. So let's go green. And after that you go to your um, palettes, which can also be found in the dockable dialogues over here. And you're going to this uh, color map of image number one and then you're going to um, duplicate that palette. And you're going to rename this as the character that you're making a custom palette to, a uh, custom portrait to. Um, after that, you go back to image, press mode, and then RGB, and then you press mode again, and click index, and this time you're going to click on use custom palette. And you're going to pick that duplicate um, palette This here, like Evil Ryu, or the name of the character that you're making a custom portrait to, and then convert. After that, you're going to go back to your color map here, and then you're going to uh, right click a color here, right click a color, and then press rearrange color map. So, what this does is that it shows you this like window where you can like put your any color from anywhere. And what you're going to do is that you're going to get the color that you've changed, uh, the background color, and then put it right here in the front. So the background color should be the first color in your color map because this will act as the transparent color when you put it on fighter factor. So let's press OK, and then you'll just you're just going to save it. So I'm just gonna save it. Export. Um, I just export as PCX because whatever. Exit, and then you're going to open your Fighter Factory 3. If you don't have Fighter Factory 3, you go download it. It's the best. It's the cool thing. What you're going to do next is that you're going to open the dev file of the character you want to put a custom palette to. So I'm gonna find Ryu and then Evil Ryu. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to press this add one or more sprites and then you're going to find that PCX um, portrait so evil Ryu so this is the thingy and then you're going to add sprite don't click on anything just press ok and then yes to all after that you go to this stuff side over here where you can see group and index so on group, you need to put 9,000, and for index, you put 19. Explanation for that, I have no idea. So um, so after that, you just go and save your sprite, and if like something shows up says wrong sprite order, you just press auto organize. I think it's fine that way. So after that, you're just gonna close Fighter Factory, and then you're going to your Mugen. So go to your Mugen. Boom. And let's check out that uh, new sprite that we have. As you can see here, this, you have your uh, custom portrait 
right there on the uh, in the character's uh, picture. And that is the tutorial, guys. So that's all, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or any clarifications, just comment down in the comment section and I will thoroughly answer them as briefly and as precise as possible. So yeah.